aren't so familiar with the sport of volleyball, this is what it's all about. Volleyball was invented in 1895 by William G. Morgan in the USA. Originally, it was supposed to be a game for people that were too small and unfit to play basketball. How things have changed. Volleyball is now a global sport, played by millions and organised by the FIVB, the International Volleyball Federation, with 218 affiliated countries worldwide. It's a team sport played on a court 9 metres by 18, with a 3 metre line denoting the backcourt and frontcourt zones and a centre line over which the players cannot step. The game is played over a net which is 2 metres 43 high for men and 224 for women. The players cannot touch the net. The game is refereed by two officials, the first referee who controls the match from the stand and the second referee who assists from the floor on the opposite side of the court. The officials are helped by four line judges and a scorer. The game is played best of five sets and the first four sets are played to 25 points with a tiebreaker fifth set played to 15 if required. Each team has a squad of 12 players but the game is six aside. There are four basic playing positions, the setter or the playmaker for the team who distributes the ball to the hitters in attack, the middle blockers, usually the tallest players on the team, who are principally there to block the opposition attacks, but they also get the chance to hit the ball. The power hitters, who are there to pass the ball to the setter and then hit the higher front court and back court sets. They are the main attackers in the team. And finally, the libero player, they are the specialists who come on and off for any player in the backcourt to pass and defend the ball. You can spot the libero because they wear a different coloured shirt to the rest of the team. To start a point, the first official blows the whistle and the rally will start with a service, which could be a float serve or a jump serve. Top speeds for jump serves can reach 100 miles per hour. The receiving team has three touches to get the ball back any part of their body to play the ball, but this is the sequence of skills that you'll see at the top level. The first touch is the receive or first pass used to control the ball and direct it to the setter. It's played with the forearms or the hands. The setter will then use the second touch to volley the ball into the air for the attackers to spike the ball. The setter has three basic options to set the ball for the most spectacular part of the game. It could be a middle attack for the fastest attack in volleyball. An outside wider set to the power hitter in front or behind, or a backcourt set. Now the opposition has three touches to defend the attack, and the first line of defence is the block. The players jump, usually in a pair, and put their hands and arms over the net to try to stop the spike coming into their court space. If a spike gets past the block, the last line of defence is defence itself. This can also be amazing to watch, with the ball leaving the spiker's hand and travelling to the backcourt in just 0.3 of a second, where the players will try to dig it. It's about being in the right place at the right time, and defenders will do anything to get the ball back in play. This is Volleyball. Time now for the Pro Sport Women's National Cup Final and time to join your match commentator, Simon Golding. A fantastic crowd here to see the home team and Loughborough's full-time volleyball programme has yielded some superb teams over the last few seasons. 
This latest side is just as exciting and coach Steve Jones starts captain Sarah Palmer, Helen Brown and Jenna Stephen-Smith in the power hitting roles. In the middle blocking positions, Tamara Schooler and Zara Dampney and in what will be her last game for the club she has served so well, Carly Williams will be hoping that her injured knee holds up for the duration of the match. The Loughborough Mallory fixture this season has seen some great contests including a 3-2 result which Mallory just edged. Now London Mallory can field an entire squad with international honours, very much the experienced team in today's fixture and these are the starting six players that coach Jefferson Williams has decided to field. Natasha Maddox, Maria Batelli and Sarah Bearham will provide the firepower. Middle blockers Rachel Laybourne and Susan Mark will try to stop that powerful Loughborough attacking. England coach and Atlanta Olympic Beach Volleyball star Audrey Cooper gets to start the game ahead of current England setter Lucy Wicks who starts on the bench. Carol Gordon will be wearing a different coloured shirt from the rest of the team. She's the Libro, the defensive specialist today. Now since Mallory's formation in 1999 this team has dominated English women's volleyball and they're looking for cup win number five today. Well, they may look relaxed, but I can tell you the team in red, London Mallory, are fiercely competitive. And they have such strength in depth on the bench that they'd start this match as red-hot favourites. Well, Carly Williams in the centre of that picture. She'll be controlling the attacking for Loughborough students today. Very important role for her. And on the other side of the net, the playmaker for Mallory, Audrey Cooper, just vastly experienced taken over as the England women's head coach so she coaches just about all the players involved in this final within the national setup. The Pro Sport National Cup final is underway and it's underway with the usual ticker tape welcome from the Loughborough student fans. And it's a good start for the home team. Loughborough playing in their dark blue strip. Not uh, the African violet purple strips that we're so used to seeing. And signals behind the back from the blockers, just to let the, know, the defenders know exactly where they will be blocking. And just out of court. Patelli chaperoning that one. Rachel Laybourne, we saw her just making the block earlier. Laybourne, a former Loughborough student player. has also done some time playing professionally in Europe. As have many of these players on court, and they bring that experience to this cup final. Laybourne with the serve into the net. And maybe just a little bit of pressure on the experienced side. The students can play without fear today. And that 3 2 result in the league, just enough to ask a few questions. Great rally. Wonderful pick up. Surely now. From the back line, Stephen Smith with a huge spike. And if that is a taste of things to come in this match, we are in for a treat. What a rally. Bit of a beat shot there, as you'd expect from Audrey Cooper, but a lovely pick-up from Captain Sarah Palmer, and that's what kept Loughborough in the rally. Well, his defence left, right and centre from the Loughborough students, and Mallory just a little unsettled at the start of this match. Zara Dampney serves for Loughborough students. More great defence. And these are epic rallies. 4-2 now, Loughborough students lead. Wonderful defence from Dabney to keep it in play. And then it's Audrey Cooper, the setter, that takes responsibility. Set of setting, she hits on the second touch. And just gets it out of the reach of one of the new young stars of English beach volleyball, Zara Dabney. So forging a career as a great middle blocker with the England squad. Well, the students have come out to fight in this one. A slightly wayward hit from Dampney after Palmer makes another good defensive pickup. I think Mallory will be quite grateful to pick up a couple of points like this. 
Audrey Cooper to serve. Well, the action is relentless. The students clearly not affected by playing on the big stage. It's number three, Tamara Skula, a 1 metre 80 tall, 21 year old middle blocker. Plays for English universities. Gets a one on one shutout with Batelli. That's a nice scalp. Well, a service error from the students. And London Mallory trail in this first set 4 5. Welcome back. We rejoin the action in set one with Loughborough students leading London Mallory by 14 points to 12. Well, the students have given London Mallory a really hard time here in this final. The problem is they can never seem to get more than three or four points away and then London Mallory just keep coming back at them and service errors like that from Helen Brown will cost them dear. So Sue Mark goes back to serve. Audrey Cooper still organising the troops, the London Mallory captain and setter. Mark to serve. Good rescue from Carly Williams on the set, but unfortunately the ball wide from Jenna Stephen Smith. And uh, Audrey Cooper enjoying that, getting a real barracking from the crowd this afternoon. But if only they knew, it makes a play even tougher. And Dampney from the backcourt misses, so it's 15 all. And Mallory levelling it up. And several hitting errors on the trot now. This time Sarah Palmer, the Loughborough students' captain. And these are three points for London Mallory. To Mark with a good service run here. Well, London Mallory have their noses in front for the first time in the game. Well, net touch spotted. And Rachel Laybourne admitting it was her with the fault. Colin Scott, the second official, responsible for looking down at the bottom of the net. And uh, the Reverend Steve Walton the first official for this match, up on the stand. I think they're going to have their work cut out this afternoon with these two. Cracking pick up from Bertelli. She doesn't want to be left out of the defensive picture for long. Finally, Maddox finishes it. And again, the referee's called into action. This time, Jenna Stevens-Smith touching the net, but I think Natasha Maddox have put it away. And this is... Batelli's pick up. Oh, fantastic reactions. And it is Natasha Maddox to serve. Former England senior player. Very good save. The ball was drifting over the net, but Carly Williams with an awesome jump to put this on a plate for the high jumping Zara Dampney. Bit of quality there from the Loughborough students, and they are determined to stay in this set. Again, though, another service error. I'm afraid that is going to start to cost them dear. One point lead again for London Mallory. 18 17 they lead in this first set. Cracking stuff, Sarah Palmer this time with the hammer. And the quality of volleyball in this Women's Cup final has been absolutely superb. 18 points apiece. 25, remember, the target score in the first of the four sets. And uh, if it goes all the way to a decider, as it did in the league, then they'll play a 15-point tiebreaker. Bearham from the back line. Good power from the number four. Nice pick-up. Good control from Maddox. 
And then Cooper knows exactly where to go into the back line and Bearham off of the block and out of court. It's a London Mallory point. Alan Brown this time cross court and deep. Just a few words exchanged at the net after this one. I think the passions are running high. Very quick set outside from Williams. And Brown happy to finish that. Patelli back with some power of her own. And the ball, well, as you clearly heard from Libero player, Carol Gordon, just letting the refs know that uh, the ball was outside the aerial. Williams shouting out the instructions to her hitters. The setter will tell the hitters where to run, where the attack is going to come from. It's a middle attack again, and it's a successful middle attack. This time it's number three, Tamara Skula, who is the beneficiary of a good set from Williams. That is Carly Williams to serve. Great tip from Botelli, just changing up the pace a little bit there. Caught uh, the Loughborough student defence flat-footed. 21-20. Mallory just edging their way back in front. And a change. Off comes Sarah Berham. On comes number 16, Georgina Poulton. That's to add a little bit of height to the front court. Timing not quite in at the moment for Poulton. Chance for the students, and it's just clipped the line. Good shot from Helen Brown because she was under all sorts of pressure. That is bang on the line and a valuable point for the home team. It is Brown with the serve. Goes very deep to hit this float serve. That is a tough pass. All mix up, but it's still in play. Free ball again. Great pick up. This is another wonderful rally. Just brilliant. Well, don't any of these teams know when to give up? That was incredible stuff. World-class volleyball from both these finalists. A huge pickup from Williams to keep Loughborough in that one. But the firepower, London Mallory just kept coming back at them. More and more hitting at the net. And eventually, they find a way through, but not after some considerable resistance from Loughborough students. There have been some punishing rallies so far in this final, and we're still only in the first set. Susan Mark to serve 22. 20. Great shot. Jenna Stephen Smith finding a route down the line and into court. Information that uh, she enjoyed the set there from Carly Williams in the right place for her. Schooler to serve. The students just can't seem to get that breakthrough. They're playing catch up all the way through the uh, business end of this first set. Maddox this time, good high reach, one blocker to beat. Doesn't miss those. 23 points to 22. Maddox to serve again. Just a delay, making sure the uh, score sheet is correct. Sometimes unsettled players, especially at a crucial stage in a match. And the Mallory now just two points away from taking this first set and a handy lead in this Pro Sport Cup final. Oh my goodness. Well, we said it can sometimes unsettle players. That service didn't even make the net. Under uh, unofficial volleyball rules, that means Natasha Maddox has to buy the rest of her team a drink at the end of this game. To 
serve this time. 23 all. Phenomenal. It's another unbelievable rally. And he's still alive. Well, the fitness from both teams is astonishing. Finally, London Mallory finished that rally, but I'm wondering how telling this will be towards the end of the game. Great bit of uh, head work there from Audrey Cooper. It's played on and eventually it's Rachel Leibourn gets her hands on that one to put the ball away and it's set point to London Mallory. Chance to go 1-0 up in this cup final. But they must be tired. They're launching everything they've got at the Loughborough students at the moment, including a serves and Georgina Poulton finishes the first set in some style. 25 points to 23, London Mallory lead by one set to love. Welcome back. Set two was almost a carbon copy of the first. Loughborough making a great start and putting serious pressure on London Mallory, but never developing a big points lead. And then when it got to the business end of the set, the experience of Mallory saw them through. 25-21 for a 2-0 lead to the Londoners. We rejoin the action in set three. London Mallory lead by 21 points to 18. Sarah Barham, good serve from her. London Mallory getting closer and closer to closing this game out. Great shot from Rachel Leibourne, real power from her. Reverse set from Lucy Wicks, the England setter, on to replace her captain, Audrey Cooper. To the net from Barham. Students being handed a lifeline here. As to be said, the uh, Loughborough student support has gone a little quiet. hit this time from Lauren Williams. Coach Jefferson Williams' daughter on court. He's made a number of substitutions in this set. And a nice serve with a little help from the net, just taking it out of the reach of libero Carol Gordon. And that's woken the crowd up. All of a sudden, Loughborough students are back in this match. They trail 21-22. Third set that they must win to prolong this game. Free ball to Mallory, good pass. Great defence, but Botelli with enough on it to send the ball spiralling away towards the crowd. And now London Mallory are just two points away from the Pro Sport Cup final title. Pass from Williams. This is a nice set. Good pace, good height out wide. And Batelli finding a way past that single blocker. There's former Loughborough student player Rachel Leibourn to serve. Whistle's gone. Colin Scott says that uh, Nikki Osborne, the middle blocker, actually went under the net. The Mallory players and coach are furious. But this is where it happens. She makes a great pickup. But if she touches over that line and down, then she's in Loughborough student court space. That's 
well to avoid the net on the way back up. That's illegal. Good decision by the ref. Steve Walton is calling a substitution. Back on comes Tamara Skula. 22-23. Rachel Leibourne with the first really wild hit that we've seen from her. And so consistent in this match so far. And with that, the students have levelled the score at 23 all. Good finish from Osborne. No, it's been called over. Again, Osborne guilty of invading court space. If she touches this ball when it's still on the Loughborough student side of the net, it's illegal. Oh, it's fingertips. Fingertips to the ball. And that point automatically goes to Loughborough students. So set point. And a chance to get back in this game. This is surely the opportunity. Helen Brown still alive. Oh, but Sarah Barron pushes it over the line. And the crowd goes wild. The last couple of minutes, when they thought the game was all over, they went a bit quiet. But now, Loughborough students are well and truly back in this match. They trail 1-2. London Mallory, the league champions, know that they've now got a fight on their hands. Join the fourth set. Loughborough students leading London Mallory by 22 points to 17. Oh, power from Zara Dampney. It's a good set from Carly Williams. Dampney gets right on top of it. She's got so much time in the air. And finds a wonderful angle into court. Very comprehensive kill from the youngster. Colton this time finds a way through. And we say, youngster, the average age of the Loughborough student team is around about 19. So slightly older for London Mallory, shall we say. That's where the experience is. Palmer's blocked. Good work from Rachel Leibon and Georgina Poulton the lineup right this time the timing's good penetrate over the net well a net touch from Georgina Poulton so London Mallory just getting away with that one and some you lose some Audrey Cooper on for Natasha Maddox in the backcourt Audrey Cooper's going to serve she's on specifically for her defensive skills but she's also got a pretty good float serve down the off-paced attack clever stuff from Zara Dampney and the Loughborough Hippo's gone wild in the background and Loughborough are now just one point away from taking this final right down to the wire a fifth set tiebreaker to 15 points awaits them if they can close the deal here in the fourth set Carly Williams just willing her players on it's the captain to serve alive Telly from the back line well that needed every ounce of power that the number 17 had didn't really seem to be a route down in this one but she found it and off the arms of the defender and out of court the long route back though Jefferson Williams must be wondering what on earth has happened. He's made substitutions, yes, but you still expect your players to come on and do the job. Loughborough students have found a bit of momentum in this game and they're not going to let it go. Or are they? Zara Dampney missing. Lucy Wicks, the England setter, number two. And court now for London Mallory. Great block, wow, straight back into the face of Helen Brown. Look at the determination on the faces of the London Mallory players right off the forehead. 
close the gap to two points. Still set point though. Big hit into the net. Vitelli gives the post a good kick after that one and Steve Jones wants a booking. But it's not going to be a booking, it's going to be a fifth set. The cup final has gone all the way. Join the action at the start of set five. 15 points the target to decide the winner of the Pro Sport National Women's Cup Final. Great pick up from Helen Brown. No, it's been called down. Both officials immediately saying that ball hit the floor. Some protests here. Sarah Palmer, the Loughborough student captain, the only player on the court allowed to speak to the referee. And Steve Jones has now overstepped the mark to have a word with the second official. Steve Jones is not happy at all about this. And the Mallory just want to get on with things, but uh, Steve Walton, the first official, wants to calm things down. Well, that is up. It's a tight decision. It's called a pancake when you slide your hand underneath the ball. And there was a hand between the ball and the court. Helen Brown makes a, a fantastic pickup. Call going against Loughborough students. And Sarah Palmer having to tell coach Steve Brown to behave himself in future. Well, what a lovely moment. And that certainly diffused the situation very quickly. Very clever captaincy from Sarah Palmer. And what a comeback from the Loughborough students. Well, there's a way to handle a crisis. The coach still shaking his head. The players just getting on with it. Zara Dampney to serve. But Telly, that was a clever set. Just watch how Lucy Wicks brings her inside. So it's not all the way out to the antenna. It's around about a three and a half ball. That caught both the blockers and defenders flat-footed there. Oh, great line shot. And the young woman, Helen Brown, who's played a fair bit of beach volleyball in her time. Spotting the gap down the line and rolling it into the space. For a couple of hours of high-class volleyball, both teams still playing an absolute full throttle. This time, Jenna Stephen-Smith pounds it over the top of Nikki Osborne. Nikki Osborne in court playing with damaged ankle ligaments. For about eight weeks before this match, but uh, has come back for the cup final. What an arena to come back into. It's an absolute cauldron out there at the moment. And now a rotation error against London Mallory. The players are incensed, but Loughborough students lead 5-2. Well, this fifth set has been nothing short of astonishing. Loughborough students were two sets to love down in this Pro Sport Cup final and they were really close to losing they came back they took the third set they took the fourth set with pretty dramatic circumstances and now they lead five points to three in the tiebreaker set here on their home court get a, a touch called, Botelli just pointing out to the ref that uh, she'd stepped over the three metre line anyway, so it was an illegal shot. London Mallory closing the gap now to just one point. Still in play, great rescue from London Mallory. Down it goes and what a finish. 
This time Natasha Maddox with the block and London Mallory have leveled the score. The students had a three point lead at the start of this set. And now it's gone. Both teams have just lost their way a little bit here. team to get some rhythm back will surely be in the driving seat wayward hit from Jenna Stephen Smith out over the baseline Maria Batelli still serving six points to five Again, and the points are now flowing for London Mallory. The students just seem to have lost their way. This must be a tough rotation for them to get off. Certainly a good block. Nikki Osborne, current England middle blocker. Well, earlier on in the match, this is how you diffuse a difficult situation. The game could have got a little bit out of control there, but Sarah Palmer. The Loughborough captain just going across to coach Steve Brown and telling him to calm down. Oh dear. The wheels have come off at the moment for the Loughborough students. Some errors, some free points. And that means a comfortable lead. 8-5 for London Mallory, so change of ends. What happens in this tiebreaker set to ensure no advantage to either team? Mallory players now looking pretty comfortable and happy as they change ends. Loughborough students looking nervous, looking tense. On the brink of a huge victory. Under Mallory have now steadily come back. Vitelli to serve to try and increase this three point lead. Referee's happy that all the players are back in the right positions. If you get one of those rallies in a match, you can count yourself lucky. And we must have had at least 10 now. Just superb rallies with the ball crossing the net time and time again. And it's all down to some great defence. No, well, the Loughborough students thought that came off of a London Mallory hand, but it was straight into the net. Maria Batelli's astonishing service run continues. Seven points on the trot for the number 17. Down it goes, finally, Zara Dampney with a big backcourt spike, puts that away into the corner. Despite Batelli's best efforts, this gives you an idea of just how high Dampney gets off of the court. Jumping out of the gym at the moment. A good serve, but it's another good pass. There and though, into the net. Students on the comeback trail, and that has been the story of this match, instigated by Carly Williams, the setter. She's run a pretty expansive offence today. It's kept the London Mallory blockers guessing. forced to make the set but it's a good one to Botelli. We rejoin the action at 13-11 to London Mallory. What a superb serve. Loughborough students are now within one point. 12-13 they trail in this tiebreaker fifth set. Lucy Wicks using some of her international experience to calm it down. Classic stuff. Jenna Stephen Smith in the right place at the right time. The number 10 with a marvellous pickup. And then Sarah Palmer, just with the presence of mind to take the pace off it all, tip the ball into the middle of court. And it is 13 all. Vitelli tries to return the favour, but it's still in play. 
Play ball on the reverse, and it's Tips that are winning it at the moment. Both teams deciding against the higher-paced offence. Well, there seems to have been quite a serious injury on court. Oh, yes. And Jenna Stevens-Smith catching Helen Brown's head full in her face as they both dive for that ball. And I don't think Stephen smith is going to take any further part in this match. And no, that's the case. She's been taken away to the first aid room. And on comes Dimitra Maku. Normally a setter, but she's having to replace one of the power hitters. And what a time for that to happen. Match point, cup final point to London Mallory. a mix up there that would have been unfortunate but here's the chance to finish it no Helen Brown with some speedy defense and a great shot cross court oh that was just fantastic play from the number 11 and once again Loughborough students are back in this match and London Mallory are being tested to the full and proving that they are up to the test. Rachel Leibourne with the coolest of shots, just rolling it off the hands. And it's a second match point to London Mallory. Lucy Wicks to serve. It's a good serve. It's a free ball now. It's Batelli for the cup, and she's got it. Maria Batelli with the big shot when it mattered. And London Mallory have closed the game out in impressive fashion. Commiserations to Loughborough students. What a performance they've put on. And what an entertaining cup final this has been. Some of the best volleyball that I've seen for years, men or women. A tremendous match. And the crowd, quite rightly, on their feet. A standing ovation for both teams. A contest befitting the biggest game in English volleyball. We all thought we were going home. It was going to be a 3-0 to London Mallory. But Loughborough students came back. They fought hard all the way. But in the end, just didn't have quite enough to beat the league champions. London Mallory are now the Pro Sport National Volleyball Cup Final Champions 2005. So an exciting match, Audrey, but uh, so, some interesting points there that I'm sure you and the coach won't be very happy with. Yeah, I think we made a lot of errors, um, unforced errors as well, so we'd be disappointed with that. But the important thing was we came through in the end, and that's the Mallory spirit uh, and the quality in this team. Now, Natasha, there were some amazing rallies in that match, and uh, Loughborough just played so well, but you guys stayed in there. Their defence was brilliant, and um, we couldn't get past them, I have to say, for a few points, but I think our hitters turned it on when they needed to, eventually. Um, and we got through them, we just, I think we just ground them down and we got there in the end. Very big game for us, we, we've worked really hard in the last week to try and get ourselves to this position and I had not hoped that we would get to this position and still be able to be very, very competitive against a very good Mallory side. Uh, we've worked really hard as I've said, we've, we've peaked at the right time I think, but at the end of the day the more experienced side won the game, so it, it's, it's disappointing but I'm very, very happy for the girls. Now, Captain, what were you most pleased with about your team today? Um, just the fighting spirit. I think the passion was there and good defence. We didn't give up, even though we went two sets down. That was fine.